Welcome back students in the Department of Technology Systems within the College of Engineering Technology. In our presentation today, we're going to go over how to be a successful student, our peer mentor program, the CDLC, Starfish, and many other systems here to assist you while you are continuing your education at ECU. First thing is our peer mentor program. So there are several goals of it. Um, it allows you as a mentee to be a uh, uh, Connecting with a dedicated peer mentor who will be able to guide you through the academic and non-academic side of your program in first year at ECU. It provides you with that initial guidance and de designing a long-term career plan so that you get the most out of your time at ECU. It will also allow you to create a sense of belonging within our college and the ECU community as a whole and with your faculty. It's always good to get that introduction to faculty members that you may have down the road that could be a good reference or allow you to do research with them, you name it. For more information, contact Mr. Brad Collier, the Assistant Director of First Year Programs at ECU uh, for the College of Engineering and Technology. He can be reached via email at collierbr18 at ecu.edu. And that's his email address on the screen. Or you can reach him via our CET advising email as well. And that's on the screen for you as well. Mentor Collective is the um, program that we use for our mentor program. It allows you to be paired with a mentor in your major area. So ICT students will get paired with ICT um, majors or mentored. It's very little time commitment because we do value that quality over quantity in terms of the relationship you have with your mentor. It allows you to meet face-to-face -face through text, video chat, and so forth. It's a great tool. We offer various co-ed 1000 sections, which is a first year seminar. It's one semester hour. It's basically an intro to all things college, all things ECU and how to be successful here. We offer general sections, sections based on major and special interest groups, such as transfer students, first generation, male students, et cetera. It's a great course. If you've got the time to take it your first semester, I strongly encourage you to do so. Mentioned in a previous semester, but it's or uh, presentation, but it's worth being mentioned again. Make sure you check that ECU email. This is where all e official communications will take place. We use your advisors only email your ECU email for privacy reasons, financial aid, cashier's office, professors, etc. That is where all official information will go to. We have a lot of assistance, resources, and, inter and interventions that we offer at ECU. All right. The first one we're going to mention is Starfish, which is an early alert tool used by professors. Okay, so professors are going to send information to students throughout the semester. So we've got kudos, which means you're doing something well. Keep up the good work or you ace the first exam. Students are good flags if they're in things such as academic difficulty or they have excessive absences. So um, if you get one of these notifications, you want to take action. Meet with your instructor. Uh, utilize our tutoring services. Reach out to us as your advisor. Attend your classes, etc. All right, to set up your Starfish profile, currently you will log in through Blackboard to set it up, um, and you'll get emails from your professors various times throughout the semester. We have PASC, also known as the Pirate Academic Success Center. It is free for all students. It is there for tutoring, mentoring, study skills, academic success services, and so forth. They can be physically seen at the old cafeteria complex when we're all back on campus, or you can reach out to them at ecu.edu slash PASC. P-A-S-C. Next, we've got the University Writing Center. A lot of you this first year are going to take that English 1100, that freshman writing. Again, this is free for all students to assist you with all stages of your writing processes. So brainstorming ideas, organizing your content, learning grammar, and so much more. You can visit them on the first floor of Journal Library this fall, and there is their, there is their website as well. I mentioned some of our programs require internships in previous presentations, um, and some just recommend it. We have the Career Development and Leadership Center, CDLC for short. This is our version or our in-house career center. Okay, It's in the Science and Technology Building, room 239. This is where they can be reached at, email address, telephone number, website. They're there to assist you with career exploration, resumes, cover letters, interview tips, um, helping you find those jobs and internships. They're an extension of the ECU Career Services, which is this lovely house at the corner of 5th and Jarvis. They're definitely very, very um, helpful, too. Great to reach out to both resources and get all the information that you can use. So that is some of the information that we as the uh, CET Student Success Center have out there for you and ECU has out there as a whole to assist you to be successful uh, while you were here at ECU.